motocross is coming from. Not a day for the slick tyres. There's somebody in there somewhere. I hope it's not David Thorpe, the world champion. He's taking part in our event. A day for the Massey Fergusons rather than the Hondas, I would have thought. A little wheel spin, but just look at that net. Terrible conditions for our motocross, but they love this, the motocross boys, you know. There they go. Down he goes. <laughs> They're trying to find someone with a bloodhound. There isn't a bloodhound. Um, anyway, this was the position uh, after the first two races. So we're about to see the concluding one. Now, David Thorpe, the world champion as ever, out front. So let's pick up the commentary for the decider with Murray Walker. The starting official with the giant lever on the right of the lineup will give a great heave from behind the red panel. Down will go the bar in front of them and the race is on. Now, Dave Thorpe has not had the best of starts in either leg. He is in third position as they go round the right hander. And it's Mason Weir in the lead from Carlisle, Mason Weir, there he goes, he finished third in the second leg and nowhere in the first leg, so he's not going to qualify for a high place overall, but never mind, if you can beat Dave Thorpe in today's conditions, you've got something to go home and throw about, but now Thorpe is in second place and coming up fast, number nine, Jared Smith in fourth position on the Kawasaki. But meantime, it's a Honda leading Mason Weir. It's a Honda in second place for world champion Dave Thorpe. And there's Mason Weir. Very fast away from the start. He's famous for that. The, the first time in 1986, he was the North, Northern Centre champion in both the 250 and the 500 classes. The first time that has ever been achieved professional rider he's going to be riding in internationals and the british championship in 1987 and if he goes like he's going now he will do well mason leeds caught there in second position but closing on the man from carlisle who is riding a 1987 production honda so he's not going to be on it very much longer but he he gets back in the saddle over the crest Ball. Thorpe, who with true professionalism has put a completely new and clean set of clothes on to start this race. Accelerating away there was Derek Roberts, the man who stuck there. Number 26 is Mark Bennett, who was second overall when this race started. He's going to have to work very hard now to regain places. And meantime, Dave Thorpe on the second on the first lap, almost the end of it, it's completed now, they're on the second lap, Mason Weir leads the world champion, who is inexorably inching up on... Mason Weir, there he goes in the red helmet, there is Dave Thorpe, ripping one of his tear-offs off his goggles, the tear-offs are dis disposable, and into the, look at the way... Thorpe is straight onto the depot in the rut there, drops right into the rut. And now, Jared Smith is going extremely well on the Kawasaki. Two Hondas, first and second. Jared Smith, who is super fit, 10 years experience. That's number nine when you see him, but there is Mason Weir coming towards us now. And, and Thorpe leads. Thorpe with, and, and Jared Smith is closing up on Mason Weir, who has retaken the lead from Thorpe. Now, is Mason Weir going to be able to stay on? Because Thorpe is pressing in very hard, and Jared Smith is closing up on both of them. Great stuff from the Gillsborough rider. Jared Smith in third position on the Kawasaki. A bodybuilder, mountain biker, swimmer, shoots a crossbow. Won the last round of the British 125cc championship in 1986, and broke his back in 1986. Mason, that, Mason Weir leading, and I'm talking about Jared Smith, who is in third position. There he goes, and he's actually closing on Thorpe. So Weir, Thorpe, Smith. Jared Smith really going for it, setting about the world champion. And off goes Mason Weir. I thought that might happen. He looked a bit wild to me, throws away his gloves. And now he's got this dreadful problem. You see, he's got muddy gloves. Very difficult to pick the bike up. He's saying, look at the way Jared Smith is going. 
Now, Mason Weir, having lost his lead because Thorpe was pressing him so hard, is slipping down the field. But a titanic scrap, the best of the afternoon, between number one, world champion Dave Thorpe, number nine, 20-year-old Jared Smith, and it's Honda versus Kawasaki. Behind them now, in third position, Scotsman, Willie Simpson. Jared Smith, unlike Thorpe, has not scored in both legs. There's Mason Weir, who has got going again. Got those slippery, slimy, muddy gloves of his back on his hands again. Clamped them on the bars, gritted his feet, and is setting off after this flying duo. The stylish, smooth, superb Dave Thorpe. There he goes. Five minutes gone, 25 minutes to go to the start of the last lap. And if Jared Smith can keep this pace up, he is going to be doing extremely well. Well, these two are out on their own. In third position now is Greg Hansen from High Wycombe, the Kawasaki rider. So it's Kawasaki second and third being led by a Honda. And Greg Hansen is the man who led the first leg for a while until he had to stop. But as you look at Thorpe, and now where is Jared Smith? Where is Jared Smith? Thorpe is out on his own. Well, he's dropped right back. And meantime, Hansen has dropped down to fourth position. Willie Simpson is back into third position. And number 34 there stuck on the line it was Paul Pickering from Hartlepool who seemed to be sitting there quite dispassionately and would seemingly have given up. But meantime, Thorpe, Thorpe is really charging now. He's setting out to break Jared Smith. By, he has completed three laps, Dave Thorpe, and the lead now between Thorpe and Jared Smith is something like six seconds. With Willie Simpson in third place, Greg Hansen in fourth position, and Gary Heaver in fifth position on the Kawasaki. But it's the old, old story now that uh, in our second motocross coverage of 1987, well, our first of 87, uh, we see Dave Thorpe, the world champion, out on his own because he has the experience, he has the skill. He has the tactical planning brain, and of course he has got the finest machinery that money can buy, this works harder than he's on. It's a production machine, basically, with alterations to the suspension. There is Jared Smith getting it cross-threaded as he leaps over the crest. But Dave thought there on his production machine, which would cost you some £2,500 if you were buying one, has actually got some quite dramatic modifications. He's got white power front forks upside down. They've been turned round. He's got a different rear suspension. He's got engine modifications. And he's got all the skill of his father, Keith Thorpe, looking after him. Plus the Honda people. So it really does make a, a winning combination. Number one, world champion. See that special peak on his helmet to help deflect the stones or alternatively get the air onto his face if uh, the conditions are hot, dry and dusty. He hasn't got that problem here today, but he has got the stones problem. And if you look at Thorpe, you'll see that unlike a lot of the riders, he doesn't wear nearly as much body armour. He hasn't got the armour over his shoulders. He just has a chest protector on underneath his outer clothing that's in case any stones hit him because it's not until that you leave the body armor off that you realize what a good job it's doing and now watch the difference in style and speed as dave thought closes up on the tail enders and laps them picking picking his opportunity to go past Taking Russ Jarman. 
Russ Job, and it's actually one of the seven one of the seven competitors who've scored in both legs so far, and was lying in fifth place overall when he began this final leg. So if he finishes it, he'll be well up there is Craig Hansen that we haven't seen much of so far, but he's in third position, desperately chasing Jared Smith. Hansen, who comes from high, there he goes from High Wycombe, fourth in the British Championship last year, just come back from quite a long stint in New Zealand, tremendously successful, because he won the New Zealand Championship. Having won the British 125 Championship last year, went extremely well in practice, led the first leg here this afternoon for a couple of laps only to strike trouble so there is the big Kawasaki of Greg Hansen who will be showing well I'm sure in the British Championship and International this year there's a big international race on in France actually today but uh, the top riders that you see here have decided to forego that in order to ride here at Canada Heights. Whether they will think that's the wisest thing to have done with this dreadful ground conditions, I don't know. But there, there goes Hanson. Third place ahead of him and firmly ahead of him at the moment is Jared Smith in second place. Ahead of him, the leader, number one, Dave Thorpe, now on his seventh lap, just about getting on towards half distance because of the lead he's got he can afford to take it very carefully as he drops into the ruts on that descent and the reason he's going into the ruts of course is that if you go into a rut you at least know there's a bottom to it whereas if you go somewhere else it might well be under Conde's conditions bottom less although fortunately a lot of the water has drained away and number 27 that you're looking at is Willie Simpson who is in fourth position Willie Simpson all the way down from St Andrews and he has just got past Greg Hansen so that means to say that he has moved up into third position Willie Simpson up into third position having driven all the way down from St Andrews he's the number six British seed for 1987 multiple Scottish champion just finished instructing at Vic Allen's motocross school up in Scotland and he like several of the riders here today is going to be competing in the 500cc world championship Grand Prix and internationals this year short stocky tremendously tough and very very keen riding a Honda Willie Simpson third place number 27 can see why they have to be so superlatively fit and you can see now that Greg Hansen is after number 27 Willie Simpson and third place there's the leader Thorpe finishing his seventh lap but the important thing is where are we in terms of time and the answer is just about halfway through the race skill is not only getting the most maximum performance out of the machine but always staying on it into the rut again out of the rut now watch the back back wheel kick out as he feeds in the power over 60 horsepower and he can afford by his standards to take things comparatively easy he's probably riding at about eight tenths I should think now because he will know from his signals that he's in a strong position he will know that if he adds another win and Hansen is back into third position there's number five Greg Hansen on the Kawasaki he has caught and passed Willie Simpson number 27 so it's Thorpe leading Jared Smith second Hansen number five in third place on the Kawasaki ahead of Willie Simpson on the Honda number 27 in fourth place as Hansen goes up to the top of the hill flicks it right, drops downhill. So, in fact, there is not a lot between Dave Thorpe and Jared Smith. Indeed, as they drop down the hill, I'm putting a stopwatch on them, and Jared Smith is only four seconds now behind Dave Thorpe. There's Thorpe. And there is Jared Smith.
Gills for a man do anything about the world champion. I very much doubt it. Because as I've said before, Thorpe has got so much experience, but Smith is certainly charging as he comes up behind Dave Denley there, number seven on the Yamaha. Passes him. There, there goes Thorpe. There is Smith, followed by Denley. Denley actually well down the field. He's been lapped. And although we're concentrating on Dave Thorpe and Jared Smith, there he is. The order behind them is still Willie Simpson in third place. Greg Hansen in fourth position. Gary Heaver, that's a good ride, in fifth position. And up into sixth place, Alan Morrison. 20 minutes completed, 10 minutes to go. And Dave Thorpe, I, I think he's bothered by the mud. He, and look at Jared Smith, he's certainly closing up on him. Dave Thorpe was complaining earlier on that no matter what he did with his goggles, they were getting covered up. Of course, this is a problem that they will all be contending with, uh, having to contend with. But Dave Thorpe was complaining that first of all, his goggles were getting covered in mud, then the tear-off strip, Thorpe leading. Jared Smith second, Willie Simpson third, Greg Hansen fourth, in fifth position Gary Heaver, and in sixth place Alan Morrison, and the gap now is 3.7 seconds between number one, the leader, Dave Thorpe, as he comes up to catch and lap number 30, Alan Blood, and that will give Jared Smith, number nine, the opportunity to close up a bit, because Thorpe is wisely biding his time before he gets ahead. Thorpe, why hasn't he, I'm surprised he hasn't caught and passed blood, actually. And I'm wondering if this problem that Dave Thorpe has had all afternoon with the mud and filth getting into his eyes is starting to affect him in this, the last race, because Jared Smith is closing, no doubt about it. Jared Smith, who's been off and has come back. Now, the gap was, what did I say, three seconds. 3.7 seconds, I said. Jared Smith. Behind Jared Smith, still Willie Simpson. Behind Willie Simpson, still Greg Hansen. Behind Greg Hansen, still Gary Heaver. 2.2 seconds is the gap now. There goes Thorpe. Where is Jared Smith? Well, he's got ahead of him now, Blood, because... Alan Blood has been caught and passed number 30 by Dave Thorpe, number one. There he is, the leader. Dave Thorpe looks over his shoulder and Smith, Jared Smith is right up alongside him and bidding for the lead. He needs to stay aboard. My goodness, he suddenly came up with a wet sail. They've completed another lap. And Jared Smith riding the race of his life. The man who's come back from a broken back and demonstrated his super fitness showed his front wheel to Dave Thorpe there and I think Dave was sleeping a bit there because now he's sprinted away a bit and he's closing up now on Mason Weir five foot one Mason Weir from Carlisle who finished third in the second leg and now, Jared Smith, number nine, has lapped Derek Roberts, the Alex Wright protege, number 22, who is in eighth position. So the first two are really flying. We're now in the 28th minute. I think Thorpe will complete this lap, and then the next one, before that yellow flag with the diagonal cross is shown to him as he crosses the finishing line and which signifies that he is starting the last lap of over 90 minutes very very hard motor crossing here at Canada Heights this afternoon he's a big lad is they thought well over six feet towers over the handlebars of his Honda Very sensible man with the considerable amount of money that he makes these days. Yes, he has a lovely home and an equally lovely family and a magnificent motor car. 
but he is very sensible with his investments, realises that he will be at the top of motocross for as long as his reflexes last out, and that then he will have to find some other way of making a living. Well, he's completed this lap. The flag has not been shown, so there is this lap and the next one to go, I prophesy, before Dave Thorpe sees the chequered flag. And meantime, Jared Smith is still second. There, number 27, Willie Simpson, is in third place. We've seen a lot of Thorpe, we've seen a lot of Jared Smith. Willie Simpson now going well all the way from St Andrews on number 27, Honda. So Willie is now on his last lap but one, or maybe on his last lap actually, because Thorpe is going to get that yellow flag so much earlier. And Simpson is 35 seconds behind Thorpe now. And Jared Smith is about seven seconds behind. So Dave Thorpe is controlling things from the front. Greg Hansen in fourth position has just completed the full lap. We wait now for Gary Heaver to go through in fifth position. And Alan Morrison to go through in sixth place. And I can tell you that the lady official with that yellow flag is now standing at the ready at the start and finish line and here is the man that is going to be shown to first of all trickling round the left hander and number two gary heaver who was in sixth position fifth position had came had come to a standstill there but has kicked the kawasaki into life and is now motoring sharply away after Dave Thorpe, who has lapped him and is about to start very shortly his last lap. Here's Thorpe coming up. You probably just saw the yellow and diagonal cross flag in the background, which is being held out now. Jared Smith has taken it. Thorpe is on his last lap of the afternoon. Jared Smith, in second place, is on his last lap of the afternoon. Willie Simpson will be approaching soon to start his last lap. But meantime, Thorpe is, I should say, a third of the way round now. Giving the two-stroke, water-cooled 500cc Honda plenty of power. A supreme stylist is Dave Thorpe. Difficult to show just how stylish in these terrible conditions, although, thank heavens, the rain, which was absolutely stair-rodding down earlier today, has long since stopped, and the water has drained away, and things are a lot better than they were. But uh, to see Dave Thorpe on a fast, dry motocross course, which is motocross at its best, is inspirational. He is a quite brilliant rider, not only in terms of his success, but to watch. And he is almost home now with a second place and two wins to score. Four points in comparison with an absolute maximum of three points. One point for each place. Notice the distinctive handlebars he's got with the bracing bar across between the left and the right sides of his handlebars because when the rider leans back and heaves, there is a tremendous amount of leverage on the bars, and it's all too easy to bend them, especially if you're a big, tough chap like Dave Thorpe is. Well, here he is, down, up, and takes the chequered flag to win the C-Link Early Birds Motocross here at Canada Heights today, as Jared Smith flies through the air to take second place in this race, but not overall. And we're waiting now for Willie Simpson to come home in third place in this race. So there he goes, that's Willie Simpson. So, in the last of the three 30-minute plus one lap legs, victory to Dave Thorpe. Second place, a superb ride for Jared Smith. Third position, Willie Simpson. And certainly a very, very convincing overall win 
for the second time in our BBC television coverage this year to Dave Thorpe. Thorpe's the sort of Daley Thompson of his sport, absolutely dominant. I can't remember seeing one of these uh, motocross uh, events in the last couple of years that he hasn't won. He's, of course, the reigning world champion. He's won it for the last two years. And this season on Grandstand, we'll uh, have glimpses of him hopefully doing that once again. He's really one of the uh, dominant British sportsmen around. David Thorpe winning there. We're going racing now, where hopefully the going is a little bit better than 